of a pass. Yeah, love. Ooh, look how yum. Ooh, black look tonight. Very excited. We're gonna get steak briefs. This looks so good. <laughs> Don't be obsessed with slay. I love you. Oh my god, guys. Coffee and so cute. Really? Phone needs fuss. How greedy are you? That looks Maple <laughs> Dower. How big these grapes look. You can eat it. No, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna stop. Oh. No, hold when on, you so speak, hold on. on. Just our hatred for each other. And our love to each other. <laughs> Rank India's ex boyfriends from most to least favorite. He's my favorite. I Even though he cheated on you, I still tell him happy birthday. All right, Mrs. Divorce. <laughs> oh my god, wait, they're actually going in. <laughs> You're gatekeeping. Come on. Gatekeeping. What's your body count? How do you feel when I say this stuff? I hate it. <laughs> That's like the worst part. <laughs> What's wrong with you? When was the last time you went on a date? <laughs> Wait, what? One thing you hid about your exes. I can't help you find me out. Don't act like you've never done that before. I had a roster. <laughs> I'm in a great mood. My coffee's just kicked in. Ouch, 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 ouch. Come, give me love. He loves me so much. Good morning, guys. I'm going to Paris tomorrow. I haven't been to Paris since I was 16. I went for Liv's birthday and I vlogged it. And then before that, I last went to Paris for my 14th birthday. The iconic Paris vlogs back when I first started YouTube and I was like 13. Yeah, we're going to Paris tomorrow. I'm saying we because you guys are obviously gonna come with. I'm going for my mom's birthday. Anyway, right now I just ate breakfast. I'm just responding to comments right now from my uh, beauty haul that I just posted. But please be humble. And I'm like, okay. I kind of slept last week with posting videos so i've got to make up for it and now i literally have to edit and post two videos in the span of like 24 hours so slay it's currently 12 p.m that's my gorgeous girlfriend anna i love you anna but today i have to edit my clothing haul i have to pack for paris i'm gonna try and hit the gym yes, i discovered david goggins and i'm back on my superhuman shit i'm watching the david goggins joe rogan podcast and i've been listening to david goggins audiobook i listened to david goggins once and then the next <laughs> I'm trying to vlog. The next day I go wake up at 6 a.m., walk 10 miles, pick five exercises at the gym that I do 100 reps of each straight and finish with running a mile. Okay, I'm gonna go edit. Hi guys. I don't know who I thought I was kidding when I thought I would be able to finish fully editing my video, walk all the way to the gym, get a workout in, and then come back and pack. It's like almost midnight and I've literally just finished packing and I'm standing here awkwardly naked right now because I just did my fake tan. I have my makeup all scattered on my desk ready for tomorrow so I can just do my makeup and then pack it away. Yeah, I honestly managed to get a pretty good amount of editing done. Oh, also, yeah, I got curtain bangs. I wanted just a little bit cut so like there's not much there. I don't know, do we like? Okay, I'm gonna go finish editing and get some sleep. I can't believe I'm going to Paris tomorrow. I'm so excited. Okay, I love you. See you in the morning. I'm currently lathering every little scar inch of my body in body lotion. Mm. It's 7 a.m. We have to leave in 45 minutes. Let's do this. Did I sleep well? Yeah. <laughs> you want me to be honest? I fell asleep at like 4.30. <laughs> That's just great. Also, good news is I pretty much finished majority of my video. Did you not hear me or are you just choosing not to give me any praise? Finished most of my video, like editing. Let's put some makeup on my face because... Oh, actually, I do look cute. I was going to say this isn't cute, but this is actually really cute. What are you doing? <gasps> are we going to leave you at home to fend for yourself for a couple of days? No, I'm kidding. My um cousin Aaron is gonna come and look after him. Look how my bed's like turned orange from me sleeping naked with my fake tan on last night. Oh my god, he would be a nightmare in Paris, wouldn't you? He'd scare everyone away. Oh my god. Hair and makeup's done. I'm still getting used to these bangs. Like I did like a few fake freckles. Look at the sheep. They're excited for Paris! Daddy! Say bonjour! hug a tree wow ah! okay so we checked in and we just went through security so 
so excited. It's got a little bit more editing to do, but I'm almost done. And I'm glad that I got a lot of this done. I'm gonna really try and post it today. I'm such a dedicated YouTuber. Look at me. So guys, we got our bags. Just in the bathroom. Uh, I'm about to top up my lipstick. I'm just waiting for my video to download so I can then call the Uber to the hotel. I just got this new lip liner yesterday from Charlotte Tilbury. It's, it's in the shade Foxy Brown. I'm not gonna lie, I did just get it because Madison Beer says that she uses it. And then... I feel like we need to do a fit check. Pretty much my entire outfit actually is in my haul video. That I'm gonna be posting later, so make sure you've watched that. It'll already be up. This little cape is from Portman. So cute. And then silk blouses from River Island. These pants are from Abercrombie. Earrings, Amazon. Yeah, love. I love my hat. It looks so good. You look so pretty. Thank you. So we're in the Uber on the way to the hotel. Really hungry actually. All Me I've too. had today is a latte. Half a coffee. I need some food. Yeah. So, so we're gonna do French onion soup. <gasps> escargot. I'm not sure about that one. I like escargot. Chicken. It's just like mussels and like a. If you do it in like a garlic butter sauce, it's really nice. We also just drove past the Eiffel Tower, but you didn't get my camera out not fast the Eiffel Tower. enough. That was the percent. Was there? Eiffel the Eiffel did, did you not see that? Yeah, no, did you I not didn't. See it? I'm supposed to be the blind one. I wasn't really paying attention. I was looking for your camera. Oh, you didn't do a very good job. <laughs> it's my What's birthday it? weekend. You're supposed to be. Like, I'm supposed to be nice. You're supposed to be my meal this weekend. <gasps> Look how cute this is, like a little grocery store on the side. Oh my gosh. A little mum and daughter trip. We haven't had a mum and daughter trip like this in, in ages. I love you. Oh, it's like, I, I'm trying so hard to like fight it, but I have to be nice because it's your birthday. I know. Weekend. I can be as annoying and cringy as I like. We're still going to be really mean to each other. We were horrible to each other on the plane. It was so <laughs> real. Oh my God. We were like, my abs hurt, like crying, like tears were in my eyes. I had to keep looking out the window because every time I looked at her, I just kept laughing. Do you want me to tell them why? <laughs> Better not, had we? <laughs> no, we were just being really like, just like jokingly horrible to each other. Sarcastic. But you guys will see some of it come out in this vlog probably. Everyone <laughs> says that I treat you terribly and that I'm you so- You do? Shut up. I'm so nice to you. I've never been mean to you. I never say anything mean. Um, Always on my best behavior in front of the camera. Yeah, but that's the only reason why you guys think that is because she's either just fake and nice on camera. <laughs> <laughs> or she is nasty on camera and says something mean to me but it's just so bad that i can't even keep it in i can't keep it in because that's how terrible she is we need to do like a not a say it or shot it but something with red wine and something kind of similar like a say a it bottle and just say it and chug it say it or glass it gulp it <gasps> oh, ew, i hate when she gulps what i scream at her every time she gulps and i hate when you chew crunch and champ <laughs> <laughs> we hate each other, but we I don't hate anyone more than I hate you. Don't you feel the same though? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I remember that little memory go round. How cute. It's the Eiffel Tower. So we just got to the hotel, we just checked in and they yeah. gave us a room upgrade. Let's have a look. Oh look at the staircase. Oh my god, it's so cute! Balcony thing, I can get some cute pictures! Nutter. I'm so excited. I swear I'm back. Oh. Look at the ceiling, guys. But yeah, they upgraded us. We got like it's super spacious. This is cute. This is a little toilet, mom. Oh, you have to put the key in the thing to for the lights. Oh. And also, the area we're in is I so nice. Smart. I did it. You did it. I Yay. Did it. Oh. Everybody needs to get themselves in India as a daughter and have them take you to Paris. So thank I know. you. So we're sharing one umbrella, which was my terrible decision i was like i don't want to carry my own like now we're both having to share one. Oh my god guys look how gorgeous and christmasy and fun my hair is kind of messed up we literally trekked here with my terrible direction skills it made us go the complete opposite way it was only going to be honestly like a two minute three minute walk turned it into like a 10 minute walk in the rain but we are here and we're at Lots right now. It's really cute inside. We're gonna get a coffee. I really want to get some escargot and some French onion soup. It's my story. Took some cute little pictures in the hotel room. Oh my god, guys, look how yum. Escargot, French onion soup. This bread and butter is the best. This is like the best. Okay. We just absolutely devoured that. Like, we inhaled it. Hotel's like literally right over there. And we decided to come over here and get some hot chocolates. It's coming up on five. We have a dinner reservation at seven. We're just chilling kind of until then. One thing about Paris is it's always gonna have the best hot chocolate ever. Come on, little ladies. MTV, let me show you my crib. <laughs> it's here to get through. It's home. Do a better job of oh, okay. <laughs> My HSP is <laughs> Oh my 
can lead in the blind <laughs> no. I've just been chilling for the past hour and a half trying to get this video up yeah i'm also trying to like post about it on my story i really don't have time for this i'm gonna drink my coffee and get ready okay so i just quickly topped up some makeup put on a little outfit i'm just doing like an all black look tonight so i have this really cute sweater that i mentioned in my new haul video from new look these black leather pants i've had for the longest time they're from i believe hollister and i'm just wearing it with these little heeled booties from and other stories is it seriously 10 minutes away what the hell <sighs> we're gonna be so late for this reservation hopefully they'll still seat us <gasps> Oh my god, the iconic Chanel. My mom's story is getting a sneak peek of the behind the scenes of this vlog. Yeah, it's okay. Came to this restaurant called Brasserie Martin. Very cute. Saw this place on TikTok. I'm very excited. We're gonna get steak treats. Got a glass of Pinot Noir. Yes. Happy birthday, Eve! Your face just lit up when the guy brought the bread out. Okay, this looks so good. We got steak beets. Perfection. Absolutely inhaled. Quickly rushing out because the Uber's here, but we guys, we came to Karat for dessert. We got hot chocolate and some little cakes. I completely forgot to vlog it because we were just so excited. About to get our Uber back home. Look how cute the outside is. Oh my god, look, it's the London eye. And the nose. There might be a party. <gasps> you should Could I get invited? I'm pretty enough to it. I don't think so. It's only pretty girls like me. Okay, let's go. No, trust me, today you don't need to call me right now. I look awful. You always look awful, so what would be different? Come on then. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna break the elevator. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Pants. <laughs> I actually feel like I will. <laughs> oh my god, no. <laughs> Can you do it? Oh my, <laughs> <laughs> my mom just got some really cute pictures of me. I guess whenever you get low on content, we should need to come to Paris for a weekend. Uh huh. Guys, I will literally never not be obsessed with this jacket. Look at this. After all the pastries we ate last night, it's insane. It's slay. I love you. I love you too. I would have you dress me every day of my life oh, if I could. Why? People are gonna be like, oh my god. The thing is, you guys, you don't realize she loves doing this. <laughs> <laughs> She's so slow and she'll take forever. It's just easier to do it for her so we can get out of here. I do have contacts. Have you ever worn a pair of contacts? No, I've got perfect eyes. Yeah, you don't know how it feels, do you? Okay, let's go, ladies. Guys, we're at Pratt. We're gonna just get a quick coffee. They have different things here. Like poached eggs and lentil pot. And then they have this like smoked salmon mango brioche roll. This one looks so good. Coconut yogurt, mango, chia seeds. Guys, they have fresh orange juice. Our coffees and we're on our walk. It's so pretty around here. It is very cold. I'm gonna go walk over to like a bakery and maybe get some croissants for breakfast. We've not we carved could... out like this in ages and I'm enjoying it. Same. Your eyes look pretty. Oh, thank you. Oh my God, I look crazy. Oh my God, guys. This is literally so good. We got almond croissants and baguette and we got orange juice. I got a cappuccino. The way they butter it so well inside too. Stopped in this little department store. Or actually not little, it's quite big. Because my mom really needed the bathroom. <laughs> Just walking around. Sprayed a really nice vanilla perfume. I'm in my vanilla phase. Also, I knew like Christian Dior did lipsticks and stuff. I had no idea they had like other makeup like powders and palettes. And I should have brought my camera, but look how pretty this like blush set is. Oh my God, those three shades are stunning. I want this so bad. So guys, um, we're back at the hotel. It's 12.50. I want to try and be ready and out of here by like 1.15. You look scary. Well, I'm gonna quickly get ready. I'm gonna use my mini Le Mer. These carton bags are cute, but like, they get in my way. Anyway. Or should I do a TikTok get ready with me? I'm gonna go do a TikTok get ready. Okay, I'm gonna go do a TikTok get ready. Okay, I'm gonna go do a TikTok get ready. <laughs> this is why I hate myself when it comes to editing. All right, I'm gonna go do a TikTok get ready with me. So go check out my TikTok. Look how 
pretty she is, guys. Look how aesthetic this is. This hot coffee and, and the lipstick. Outfit of the day. Top is Zara. In my um, haul video, I said that I only mentioned two things from Brandy Melville. And I was like, I know I'm going to forget something. That's exactly what I forgot. Scat Brandy Melville. Super cute. And my Carvella boots. We're slaying, aren't we? Yeah. So cute. Really? Thank you. You look good too. Birthday girl, let's go. So as we came into this little bookshop, it's a Sunday, so like everything's closed today. Like every vintage store we kept trying to go into it was closed. This is such a cute little autumnal Parisian vibe. And we got a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> she told me off for touching it. I had positioned this cookie perfectly. I had been waiting for my cappuccino to come over so I could take a picture with the cappuccino and the cookie perfectly. The rules were out the window because it's my birthday. Like, I've trained you better than this. You know not to touch the food until I've taken a picture. Phone eats first. How greedy are you? Yeah. Uh, you're acting like it's your special day or something. <laughs> That was worth the wait. I got my cappuccino, mom got a hot chocolate. So guys, I just bought this palette. It's the one I saw earlier when I was on my walk and they didn't have it available at the other store. Oh guys, it's literally like a zoo in here. We just came back to the hotel because I was getting very overstimulated with all the crowds. I thought we'll come back here, get situated. I just tried on the comfy set I bought earlier. And it is so soft and comfortable and cute. It fits so nicely. Oh, I'm obsessed. It's literally such good quality. I'm just gonna get comfortable and then go like walk around the market. The Christmas market. What fashion influencer are you? I want to walk around the market and be comfortable. I look mom. <laughs> Outfit of the day. I reckon like Emma Chamberlain would do something like that. You really think so? Yeah. Basically just Bella Hadid. Sling. So my mom is having the first bite of the soup. Look at that. That looks stunning. So we're just walking around Paris. Ah! So nice. Honestly, I was saying this to my mom earlier. Everywhere in Paris is like a photo op. We've been doing a lot of walking around, making room for some food. So pretty. And look, there's the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower. It's so busy. We got some hot apple cider and some roasted chestnuts. This is better than going out to dinner. Oh guys, so we found this little like late night market that's open. And it's only nine o'clock, it's really not that late, but because it's a Sunday, everyone's closed. But look how juicy these dates look. <gasps> this Pomeranian. It's not Pomeranian. <laughs> Homeschool girl. No. Parsimon. I love calling every brain cell for me. <laughs> I love calling um persimmons Pomeranians. Look how juicy these blackberries oh. look. And look how gorgeous and shiny these strawberries look. They smell amazing. And look how big these grapes look. So we're gonna get some wine too. It's so Christmassy. We just bought so much stuff. It's been such a chill day. How many steps have you done? 19,000. My goal is 20. We'll definitely get that by the time we're back home. We got a bottle of wine, guys. Ah! And we got a bunch of fruit. So when we get home, we're gonna do a little mukbang. I don't want to do like a say it or shot it. Paris is... Wow. How pretty down there is. So much prettier than London, I think. Yeah, it is. Paris is stunning. Oh, and my camera. Battery's low. Okay. This camera's nice. It's very forgiving. There's a lot to forgive with you. <laughs> so back at the hotel, I want to give you a little grocery haul. You show them the wine. I didn't know what to get, but... It wasn't the cheapest, it wasn't the most expensive, but it was a good one. Got some water. Look at these little bananas, baby bananas. Ooh, grapes. Look how fat these grapes are. Look, Indy. I don't mean you can eat it. Mmm. They can see. <laughs> also, okay, let's not act fake in this. I can edit out anything I need to. Let's just act how we normally act. And then I can always edit out whatever I want to. No, because you might do me dirty. Like, full on be who we are. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> You're like, how much can we hold back? <laughs> how much can I really be me? I want the one that's Shh. the fat. No, I want that one. I want it. We've got these fat, juicy dates. So should we both share it? You can have fast bikes because okay. it's your birthday. I'm being so nice. Mmm. Mmm. That's like caramel. Do they smell good? Oh, Ugh. I'll eat that one. <laughs> well, it went on my foot anyway. My stinky foot from the nail. <laughs> what? I don't know if that was your foot or if it was just sour. Mm. <laughs> it must have been your foot. <laughs> no, it's still sour. That's what was on my feet. I'm so excited. Oh, oh. they smell like jam. 
<laughs> I just know I really wanted to get strawberries because strawberries in France are the best. Cheers. Cheers. And then we have a Pomeranian. Persimmon. Pomeranian. Is it it's squishy? It's squishy. It's all squishy. About you. Okay. <laughs> Open this. I don't know how to use this. This isn't like my one. <laughs> Go downstairs and go <laughs> out. Come on, we're not that dumb, are we? Have you got any strength? Okay. No, I'm not doing that. Mom, I don't, I'm not taking any part in this. I have to stand up and do it because I'll just knock everything flying. Okay, so off your chart. Off your chart. Literally oozing. It's like, if you mess this up. You're gonna kill me. <laughs> I think I'm getting my period in a couple of days. Oh, I can tell. What? I can tell. Decent good steps today, guys. You're struggling over there. <laughs> Can't do it. <laughs> Go downstairs. We're back. Mission accomplished. I literally went downstairs in my robe. Is there many people out there? There was a there was a couple in the elevator as so I was going down. <laughs> they felt they rude. This is such a vibe. Such a vibe. Baby, are you coming for the ride? You gonna stop? Oh. <laughs> nice. Mm. How are we going to do this say or chugger? How much are we going to have to drink? A gulp. Or just a mouthful. A gulp? That's not even like a shot. This is wine. Yeah, At least half India, I'm not you. I could do the whole thing. I know, but we're not all alcoholics, are we? These questions aren't even that juicy. Mm. Binkies up. Binkies up, snitches. <laughs> That's not even what I'm mad at. <laughs> what are you mad at? The gulp. <laughs> <laughs> You got no, you got. I'm giving you the behave look. You think you're the mother, I'm the daughter. The whole trip in Paris, she's had her brain switched off. She's not done a single thing. No, like, yeah, because no, we're, wait, when you on, feed hold on. We're gonna trigger people by eating on the camera. <coughs> I was joking. Choke quietly, kids these the days. <laughs> oh. <laughs> kids these days. <laughs> Cheers to our hatred for each other. <laughs> and our love to each other. <laughs> are you ever gonna answer a question or are we just gonna sit here and eat and drink? <laughs> oh, okay, wait, this is a good one. This is a good one. For my mom, rank India's ex-boyfriends from most to least favorite. Three. Got three. The first one, that. I don't know if he's my worst, cause he was so lame. Uh, he's my favorite. <laughs> Even though he cheated on you. He yeah, but we got along. I still tell him happy birthday. Yeah, Do you yeah. know what though? The reason he's my favorite, I knew I could always count on him. And if I was ever worried about India, if there was any worries, even when they weren't together, I could message him. One time you thought you were being broken into. Yeah, when I first moved he, to LA. When I say the story, mm -hmm. he was in hospital. I mean, he was hooked up to an IV and he actually just ripped out. Sorry, the camera died. He got in his car and he came straight to her and he got there before the police even got there. And I just know that if ever I worry about you, I can message him and he's always there for you. Whereas boyfriend number one, he was just a waste of space. <laughs> I met him once and he was shaking in his boots. That was all right. Oh my god, that was a <laughs> We were supposed to meet and go to dinner no. and he, he chickened out. He so cancelled, yeah. No, I have no respect for him. The last boyfriend, well, what do I say about that? I had to go over to LA and rescue her and bring her home. That's all I can say about that one. <laughs> I think she needs an arranged marriage or something like that. <laughs> Your judgment clearly but isn't any better. <laughs> all right, Mrs. Divorce. <laughs> Mrs. No husband. Yeah, <laughs> At least I've had a husband. <laughs> Mrs. Can't keep one. <laughs> what if he watches? Who? Which one? <laughs> We're both like, what if our exes watch this video? <laughs> At the moment, boyfriend number two is my favorite. Your Even favorite. Even though he cheated. Because you know what? He was young and dumb. He was just getting very flattered. And I don't think he should have done that. I'm not making any excuses for him cheating on you. But in the overall scheme of things, there's worse things than cheating. And I think you learned that this year. Yeah, for sure. He was just selfish. Oh my God, wait, they're actually going in. <laughs> At first it was questions like worst period story or worst date story and now they're like actually like I <laughs> These are ones that I would down the whole bottle if I had to Can I look at the questions? Oh god I, You're gatekeeping, come on Gatekeeping? <laughs> Who are you on my phone? <laughs> What's your body count? So my body count's really not high, but I'm going to drink just because we cross many boundaries when it comes to our like mother-daughter relationship. We're very open with each other. Yeah, and we're very but close. I don't need to know those things. But like there are a lot of sex questions on there that I'm like, I don't want to know them about you and you don't need to know them about me. <laughs> I saved a bit. Okay. I shouldn't have done that. 
India. I don't like the idea of you pouring when you get drunk. Well, I'm not drunk yet. The alcohol hasn't hit me yet, has it? Oh, You're no, gonna... we don't have much left. We only have... India, it's a bottle. Good thing you get drunk quickly so I can have It takes me one glass. I mean, to be honest, it takes me one glass. I don't drink. I mean, I drink more than you, but as a 20-year-old, I really don't drink. I'm very extreme with everything I do. You know that. Like, I'll go months without drinking, and then, like, I'll black out, like, multiple times in a week. How do you feel when I say this stuff? I hate it. I hate it. But at least I'm honest with you. Sometimes when you're mad at me about something else... Okay, because deep down, I know you don't care about me drinking. Like I do. No, no, no. I don't like it. You don't. You're not actually mad at me when I drink. Like, in the sense of... Before I came back to LA, that like last week or two, you know that I got like really drunk. Right, no, I don't times. like it. And I know you don't like it, but you're never gonna like get mad at me for it. What's but, the point of getting mad at you? Exactly. But what I do find is when, when you're mad at me about something else, if I then go and drink or do something, then, then you'll start texting me being like, and I don't like the fact that you're drinking, you shouldn't <laughs> be doing this, and then you'll start acting like you like really care. Deep down, you really don't. Your turn. The last time I got blacked out. I got so drunk on my 18th birthday, I didn't drink for 20 years. And then remember that time when um, Emma came over, I think we were decorating and then we opened that wine and I got really drunk and it was Bobby's birthday the next day and we couldn't go out because I had a hangover. <gasps> I remember that. That's bad. You ruined her birthday. Wait, when was this? I faintly remember this. I think she was about eight. I was so sick the next day because we just had What that did you wine. say to Bobby? How did you make that up to her? I don't know. <laughs> That's like the worst <laughs> parent. But I had Worst a drink. Yeah, but that was, the, that was the first time I. And so you choose to drink before your daughter's <laughs> birthday? What's wrong with you? Because oh, I didn't know I was going to get that drunk because it's been so long since I drank. Wow. Everyone, parent shame her. <laughs> Stupid camera keeps dying. Do you still talk to any of your exes? No. Do you ha talk to anyone? Have you? Actually, I have a question. When was the last time you went on a date? I actually have no idea about your dating life. To me, it's like, I remember you having one boyfriend when I was like seven since dad, and oh. I don't know. Wait, what? <laughs> Next question. <laughs> what? You really keep it a mystery. Just for reference, I really have no idea what your dating life is like. Well, because you shouldn't. Unless someone's serious in my life, I'm not gonna bring them into your life. Honestly, that's mature. Wow, that's like the most mature thing you've ever done. <laughs> one thing you hid from me about your exes, one of your exes. I thought you always tell me everything, so you've got to hide. Have you hidden something? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to edit this one out. <laughs> India! <laughs> when? I'm going to edit that out, though, I think. I can't have him finding out. Don't act like you've never done that before. You told me you have. Like when you were young, like 17. Oh, you? yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I had a roster. <laughs> <laughs> we have a change of location because my camera keeps dying and this is the only place where I can stay on charge. Has there ever been a point where you regretted having children? Actually, I don't like this behind because you can see a reflection. Regretted having children? No, never. Cheers to you loving me. Um, have you ever broken the law? Oh, you know this. That one time I got uh, a ticket from the police in uh, LA. But any other time? Apart from that, that I don't know about. Oh, and by the way, that was for, um... I just happened to be there. I was in a car with my ex, and we were just, like, watching some sort of, like, street racing going on. But we weren't a part of it. We were just watching. I mean, I'm sure there has been, but, like, I really don't know. Honestly, nothing out of the norm. Like, underage drinking, like, that's pretty much it. Being not been arrested or anything. Oh, no. You would... I feel like you'd know, but no. no. What was the reason that you and Dad split up? Arguing all the time. Couldn't get along. Um, You're good at that, I can tell. <laughs> What's the most you've made on a brand deal? 10K. The last question is whose body count is higher? <laughs> I don't, don't want to know. know. <laughs> How do you do that? I'm going to look up if you look snatched. You think so? Yeah. Wine does that to me. It dehydrates me. I've got a headache already from all of this alcohol. We've got to catch a fight tomorrow too. <laughs> well, that was it for the night. Good morning. On a scale to one to ten, how awful do you feel right now? Not hungover or anything, but just tired. Look at me. Same. I'm so tired right now. It's 7 a.m. Bonjour. This is like the little aftermath of last night. Oh, I got a new foundation yesterday. I really like the way my TikTok Get Ready With Me went yesterday. Go check that out. Get ready with me in Paris. Okay. I'm going to do another one. I filmed my Get Ready With Me. It's currently 8 a.m. And we're going to go start walking over to the pharmacy, which opens at 8.30. What kind of sling? It's nice and early. I know. 
you. Look how pretty it is. So we came to Angelina. I wanted to try the famous hot chocolate, Pana Chocolat. Looks like the best Pana Chocolat I've ever had. Pana Chocolat is a special to me because I used to eat them every single day. When I was like 11 on the way to school, my mom would take me to Starbucks and I would have to have like one or two a day. Like most of the time two. I used to beg you to get me three. I know. She never did. Anyway, the dip. I have more of an appreciation and a love for like almond croissants. But a good chocolate almond's good. You're growing up. Thick it is. She thick. She thick. All right, I'm sure the Uber's almost here. Let's go. So we're at the pharmacy and I've been wanting the serum for so long. Apparently it should have been cheaper in Paris, but I don't think it's that much cheaper. I love um, the micellar water. Oh, but I might actually get the makeup wipes. I know makeup wipes are bad for you, but for the days where I'm like lazy, it's better than sleeping in my makeup. We've got some really good stuff already. I've got hyaluronic acid, like anti-wrinkle cream. I'm really trying to get into my anti-aging stuff. I'm turning 21 now. I need it. I'm getting this like a concentrate retinol. You just add a couple drops to your nighttime routine. It immediately helps the look of wrinkles. And upstairs too. Oh my god, it's huge. Guys, I know I said I was going to stop shopping, but I have problems. Pharmacies in France are insane. Could have been there for another hour. It's so close to Cafe de Flore too. If you come to Paris, you have to go to City Pharma. You have to go. They have like multiple different levels. Wow, look how good this looks. We got our croissants. Look yeah. how good this looks. It does. Bonjour. So good. We absolutely inhaled that. It's 10.30. Brandy Melville. Of course, I have to find a Brandy Melville everywhere I am. That's really cute. This is the most organized, decluttered Brandy Melville I've ever seen. It's the quietest too. All packed up, saying goodbye to the room. It's served as well. So we're at the airport. I'm just shopping around the duty free and I'm at the Dior backstage section. They have my palette that I'm obsessed with in uh, 004 Rose Gold. And I've actually had a bunch of DMs asking where I got it from because apparently they discontinued it. I mean, it's still here. I personally I got my one in Japan, but apparently some of you guys are struggling like to find it. And also, I haven't done a little giveaway in a very long time, and I just love you guys, and I want to say thank you to you guys for still watching and supporting me. The amount of times I've like been really lazy with my YouTube, and you guys have always still been there for me. Like, it means the world. I'd love to do a little giveaway. I think I want to start doing more giveaways in my videos, like maybe at least once a month. Whatever I've been loving that month, maybe do a little giveaway. The rules will be in the description. Love you guys. Love Cheers. So guys, I am home. I got home last night. I slept really good. Good nine hours. I was so exhausted, but I had the best time in Paris. Anything I bought, I'm going to mention in like a birthday haul because a lot of this stuff is like little birthday presents to myself. I want to close out this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I cannot wait to go to New York in a few days and start my New York vlog. So stay tuned for my New York vlog because we know I thrive there and I'm going to be there for a while, like over a week. So it's going to be good. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Bye guys.